Hi, my name is Yusuf. Actually, I'm Yusuf's voiceover guy, but he likes my voice so much that I'm him for this video. I'd like to share how I brought my high blood pressure down overnight in a natural way. I did it using fresh ginger root made into a tea that I drank shortly before sleeping. The next morning, my blood pressure had dropped significantly, and I made this video just in case it helps anyone else. By using fresh raw ginger as a tea, I was able to drop my blood pressure overnight from 174 over 104 to the less scary figure of 132 over 82. Just as background information, my blood pressure has been creeping up the past couple of years. A couple of weeks ago, it was as high as 167 over 109. Just in case my trusty old Omron BP monitor wasn't working properly, I bought a second one from Amazon, the Series 10 model. Once it arrived, I put it to quick use and measured my BP late at night. It was 174 over 104. When I see figures like these, I get a sense of my own mortality and that my time on this planet may not be as long as I'd hope. I tried to bring my BP down by slow breathing, but it only nudged down a few points. Then I remembered that at my last visit to my family doctor, she mentioned a Chinese patient of hers many years ago recommending ginger. And having seen the use and benefits of ginger explained on the Dr. Oz show recently, I kicked into action. I made a tea from freshly grated ginger root, adding lemon and honey. The lemon juice and honey is my own idea, by the way. I just added it to make it taste good. That's how I make my ginger tea. It's quite simple, actually. First, you take ginger root. Then you grate it finely with the grater. The grated ginger is then added to the teapot. Boiling hot water is then added. And it's set aside to infuse for a few minutes. During this time, I squeeze some fresh lemon juice. And once the ginger has had time to infuse, I'll pour it into a cup. A little honey is then added. Here it says Australian honey. There's nothing special about it, I just happen to live in Australia. The lemon juice is added at the very end. And voila, your fresh ginger tea is ready. I drank it shortly before sleeping. Cheers. It tastes quite good, actually. It tastes pretty good, actually. Very good. In the morning, when I woke up, my blood pressure was significantly lower. Here are the readings again from my new Omron blood pressure monitor. It was 174 over 104 shortly before midnight. I then resorted to ginger tea to see if that would help. And it did. The next morning, shortly after 8, it had fallen to 132 over 82. It was as if I was thrown a lifeline. As an afterthought, I can't discount the possibility my slow breathing helped lower my blood pressure overnight. I did some research into the subject. A study published in the year 2000 by Widener and Sigward found ginger extract did not lower the systolic blood pressure in rats. This study, as well as many others, didn't use real ginger root, but a patented commercial ginger extract called EV.EXT33. Another study conducted in 2005 by Gayar and Jelani and reported in the Journal of Cardiovascular Pharmacology did use fresh ginger with rats and found that ginger did lower blood pressure. The report said, We report the BP-lowering effect of the crude extract of fresh ginger in anesthetized rats. The use of ginger in cardiovascular diseases has long been known. Ginger is known to have a diuretic and blood pressure-lowering effect. In the traditional medicine practice of Pakistan, Herbalists prescribe ginger to hypertensive patients to be taken after dinner. So there is evidence in the literature to back me up here. Just a word of caution, ginger may interact with blood thinning and BP-lowering drugs, so just be careful if you're on these medications. 
I think ginger is a small part of the overall solution to lowering high blood pressure by natural means. I look forward to exploring what the other herbs may have in store for me. Of course, I won't be ignoring the fundamentals of diet, stress management, and exercise, and slow breathing exercises may also have a role. Finally, a word of thanks to Dr. Oz for informing and inspiring me. If you find ginger tea helps with high blood pressure, leave a comment below this video so others can benefit from your experience. And if it doesn't work, also leave a comment, as it's all about the science, just in case I screwed up here. Thanks for watching, and good luck. I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.